Welcome to Reflector Hub TV. Get set for an encounter through God's Word with God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. Note of that. Remember that they were walking with Jesus and they really wanted to be like Him. So they were studying everything that He was doing. And in Luke chapter 11, When this was after the lecture that happened in the house of Mary and Martha. Remember? Martha was running around. This is Luke's gospel now. Martha was running around and Mary was sitting and you know. He said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. This is one thing is needful to sit at the feet of the master. So after all of that, um, we go to verse 11. And the Bible says, Jesus now is beginning to teach on prayer. So Jesus taught on prayer. Pay attention to anything Jesus taught on because that meant that it was it, it had a, a major role in the believer's work and in birthing victory. Jesus, Luke chapter 11 and verse 1. Are we there? 11 verse 1, media, not 11. 11 verse 1. And it came to pass that as he was praying, in a certain place. So what was he doing? In a certain place. So we see that he was praying. And we see that there was a location. The Bible says when he ceased. That means when he finished. Brought it to an end. One of his disciples said to him. Lord teach us to pray. That means men can be taught to pray. Prayer as a ministry must be taught. To be effective. Now, many believers do not know that it is the teaching on prayer that makes prayer effective. Not praying. The understanding that sponsors your, your action is where the victory is. Our, our, our world today is full of people who believe that the only way to pray is just to talk and begin to shout. And you will soon learn in this series that many people continue to shadow box. There is no accuracy. The disciples did not say we cannot pray. No. The problem here was not prayerlessness. I hope you understand what we are saying. The Bible says, the Bible did not say the disciples later came. Uh -uh, they were there. Listen, he finished praying and one of his disciples said to him, he was within range. So, we are not discussing prayerlessness here. This is not a backsliding person saying, Lord, restore my prayer life. This is not an issue of restoration. This is an issue of praying and miss. There is no result. And he's saying, Lord, we give up. We've been trying to copy you, but it's very clear we are not getting something. So, teach us to pray. So, prayer should be taught. Not just conducted. Okay, everybody, oh yeah, open your mouth and pray. Mm -mm. Prayer should be taught. If all we continue to do is to say, pray, 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 everybody pray, very soon we will be tired, like many believers are. Prayer meetings in many churches have the least um, uh, attendance. Do you know why? It's a testimony, it's a report card, it's a track record. Thank God that's not the case with this ministry. Do you know why? Because prayer works. When prayer works, people will prove to you by their commitment. Many churches and many assemblies today are frustrated. Prayer meetings are, in, 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 respectfully speaking, some of the most boring and pointless. And people come and you know they don't expect an answer. And while they are praying, different people are just conjuring versions of Ways that they, they come up with to try to communicate. Some are not serious. Some are even typing. Because they, they feel it's more profitable. They are aware that it will not be answered. So the disciples said, teach us to pray. Someone said, teach us to pray. I thought Jesus would turn and say, no, you don't teach prayer. Pray, my friend. Jesus is about to answer that prayer now. Teach us to pray. Please go back to verse 1. Let's finish it up. Verse 1. As John taught his disciples. Are you saying that John was a very, very, very good mentor? John taught the disciples. 
The disciples of John were not just great people for nothing. John did not just pray in the wilderness. You produce prayer warriors, not just by praying, by the accurate teaching of the prayer ministry. In many churches, they just say, if you want to join prayer band, that means if you have passion for prayer. Now, understand this. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. Uh, if you want to join prayer band, and then, you know, everybody who believes that he has some kind of zeal for spiritual things, they now join the prayer band and say, we are now going to pray. And everybody is waiting for the prayer point. We are going to ask the Lord to move in a way and a manner that even me, I don't even know. Just open your mouth and pray. And, you know, everybody is just praying and, and, and honestly. Listen, I know people are dissipating energy and I don't mean to be sarcastic. But stand from God's standpoint and you are watching people praying. And you see someone praying and just say, just tell everybody, stop! Stop where you are. What were you doing? And what do you mean, what I was? They asked us to pray. I know, but what did you expect? What were you saying? You will be amazed to know how many people who did not have any idea of what they were doing. It was just an honor to a ritual. An energetic ritual. Are we together? Verse 2. And he said unto them, Jesus now, I love Jesus. Ah, I love Jesus. I really love Jesus. The way he mentors is powerful. The confidence. Teach us to pray. Of course you don't know how to pray. Sit down, let me teach you. And Jesus is teaching now. When ye pray, so they were already praying. So he is not restoring their prayer life. He is rearranging the pattern to make sure it works. Are you following me this night? Jesus did not say, you guys don't even pray. Mm -mm. He said, I know what you are asking for. You have been praying and praying and this thing is not working. And now you are saying, teach us to pray. Even as John taught the people. So Jesus is now saying, when he pray, say. Say. This should be the content of your prayer. You want to understand this properly, you have to go to Matthew's account. Um, we'll delve here. I, I brought you here to see the teachers to pray. Let's go to Matthew's account, chapter 6. Um, and then we'll see what Jesus Christ... Matthew chapter 6. Go to verse 4. Alright, 5 now. And when thou prayest, so we're continuing now, another person's account. Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites. What is the relationship between prayer and hypocrisy? Jesus is talking about prayer and he's now talking about hypocrisy. That when you pray, you can pray like hypocrites. So how do hypocrites behave? They love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen, not that the prayer should be answered. So the hypocrisy there is the motif behind that. That it's possible a man can be praying and what you are doing in the spirit is hypocrisy. You are more concerned about the testament of those seeing you than you are about the, the contact you make and the answer it produces. The Bible says whoever has used that state is a hypocrite. Are we together now? They love to do it. So hypocrites love to pray. But the Bible says that the the motif behind their prayer is to receive some kind of self-respect from men. They are not interested in the prayer being answered. They are just concerned about having a testimony before men that my prayer life is not down. And believe me, there are so many people who are victims of this. They are more concerned about your hearing them pray they are more concerned about the respect and the honor that you give them by reason of your witnessing their prayer life. They are not concerned about the efficiency of the prayer. Their real reward and their real attraction is not answer, it's not fellowship. It is the fact that they want men to know and to attest to the fact that you are prayerful. The word of God has always brought forth light and life to the people.
Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. I believe the word of God has come to you today as spirit and as life. I believe you have been mightily blessed. I would like you to follow us by clicking the notification bell so you will receive every notification on our updates and also stay updated through God's word. Share this video and also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. God bless you.